Now, real quick to kind of wrap things up, there is one other component that I think is pretty important to have an understanding on when it comes to the motherboard. And those are the front panel connectors, or if we take a look at it here, what a lot of people refer to as jumpers. Okay, so I, I'm, I'm zoomed way in here onto uh, the edge of a motherboard here, and you'll see that there's all these little pins that are sticking up. And then there's these connectors with wires that are plugged into some of these pins, and you can even see from the, from the words and then the letters that appear on these connectors, uh, we have HDD LED, which stands for basically the hard drive light. Okay, in other words, if you've ever looked at your computer, and when the hard drive is spinning, you see a light flickering. That is how that light knows to flicker. Is because when the hard drive is spinning, right, it's being read from or written to. You know, that data is still traveling through the motherboard. And so the motherboard is going to be aware of it. And therefore, it can send a signal to those two pins where the jumper is connected to to make the circuit open and close to make that light flicker. Another one that we have here is the power switch, right, power SW. Okay, so on this box, on this case, uh, that you have a button, and you push that button, it turns the computer on. <laughs> That's how it knows to turn the computer on. You push the button, it sends a signal to that particular set of pins, and the motherboard knows it's time to turn on. And another one we have is the reset switch. Sometimes that'll appear on a, on a case where you push the button, and it makes the computer turn off and turn back on again. Uh, there are some others. There's like the power light. That's another real common one. Okay, where you just have a light lit to say that the computer's on. All right, so uh, it's important that you understand that uh, every single motherboard has slight differences when it comes to these particular front panel connectors and jumpers. And I will tell you, there's also jumpers that will appear on other places in the motherboard as well. And those jumpers very often have to do with other aspects, other configuration settings of the motherboard. As a matter of fact, there is one that is uh, it's, it's pretty common that you'll find on a lot of motherboards, and that is uh, one that has to do with the resetting of the BIOS settings. BIOS is something that we're going to talk about in detail in a different lesson, but I did want to tell you, uh, and you can keep this in the back of your mind based upon that other lesson, is if you were to ever get completely locked out or just need to just wipe those settings back to the factory defaults, very often you will find a jumper on the motherboard to be able to go ahead and do this. Okay, so, uh, but when you hear that term jumper, we're talking about usually where there's just like these two little pins sticking up, and then you have this little piece of plastic, and inside the plastic is some connectors that pretty much can open or close the circuit to make the motherboard act a certain way. So, I'll tell you what, I don't know about you, but for me, that was a lot. Okay, I mean, all for this one component, this thing called the motherboard. Well, we said at the beginning, the motherboard is kind of, you know, it's, it's some people consider it to be the most important component of the entire computer. Uh, it's the heart of the computer. Without it, nothing else works, right? In, in a human, when the heart stops working, the human dies. Well, in the computer, if the motherboard stops working, the computer dies. All right, so uh, keep in mind that there were a lot of things that we touched upon, especially at the beginning of this lesson, that are going to bleed out into other lessons for each of those individual components and how they truly tie into the motherboard. And really, it shouldn't even just be to the motherboard, but how they tie into the computer system as a whole. And it's only after you go through this entire course and learn about all the different components that you'll really understand how all of everything functions in a computer. But I thank you for watching this lesson and hanging in there with me, and I will see you in the next lesson.